Jared Goff. Jared Goff is kind of becoming the dude again. I never understood the Jared Goff hate. Honestly, I never did. I mean, he led these... He led the Rams to a Super Bowl. Yeah, they scored three points in it. And they were led by Todd Gurley. I had him that year in fantasy. Yeah, I won that league. Yeah, you know it. But he still led them to a Super Bowl. And he was the number one, his number one overall draft pick, right? He's still a good quarterback. And he's, he's honestly reviving his career. He's making a name for himself again in Detroit. I mean, that dude is... He's kind of... He's pretty... He's playing pretty nasty. I mean, he's throwing like 250 a game, which is not the craziest stats, but he's still throwing like 250 yards a game, like two touchdowns. And Detroit is what? I, uh, they're one and two, but they look a lot better than what well, they did last year. And they're like the number two offense in the NFL right now. Um, defense still has some work. But the defense can still play and they can still compete. And that offense absolutely can still compete. As for the Vikings, the Vikings moved to 2-1. and one. They, squeak, they, I guess you could say they squeak out the W. Um, I think the Vikings, yeah, they had, a, they had a flop game against the Eagles. I really, I don't think they're on the Eagles level right now. But they're still a really good team who I think should make the playoffs and really can compete for the top of the division. I think they really could take it from the Packers this year. We'll have to see. But, again, Kirk is Kirk is great. I still think Kirk is a great quarterback. Okay, a good quarterback. Kirk is a good quarterback. Great game by them. But uh, Jefferson, he's going to have to get that together. Okuda locked that man up. Jeff, people hated on Okuda so much. People hated on him so much. He was injured his rookie year. Came back last year. Really, this was last year was his rookie year. Didn't play that great. But there's so much high expectations and strict and just so much pressure and like a strict expectations from fans and from people on these young guys, especially someone like a corner, the hardest position in the league, maybe the second hardest behind quarterback. But Okuda's really playing well this year, and he showed it today against one of the top guys from his draft class in Justin Jefferson. Shows that everyone develops differently. Everyone does these. They need, they need to go on their own time. And Okuda really showed out today, and he's showing why. Him and Oruwariye could be a really good duo for a few years. So look out for them. Um, but yeah, Jefferson's gonna have to get it together a little bit. He hasn't looked good the past two weeks. Obviously, he's still a top elite wide receiver. And the Vikings have options between Osborne, Thielen. They haven't really used Cook too much, but they can get him going a little bit. Defense still plays really well. Harrison Smith somehow is still just a freaking dog. Um, so, yeah, I think Vikings are looking good, too. Um, Lions, honestly, still kind of are. Bucks are going to be fine. I think Bengals are going to be fine. Ravens looking great. Lots to like. Lots to like in the NFL right now. Feels very competitive. And I'm looking forward to week four, especially tomorrow night. Bengals versus Dolphins. That is going to be a game. So let's get to it. All right. Thank you for listening, everyone. Thank you for watching, viewing, liking, subscribing. Please do all of that if you feel it like it's necessary, if this video impacted you in any type of way. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get better at this. I try to record when I can. Sometimes it's on the fly. I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but I'm getting there. Um, thank you very much. Uh, yep, yeah. it's been RJ. Thank you so much again. Peace.